so in terms of three S's, um, so I call it um, in terms of safety, support, safety, structure, and support, right? And I'm going to tie that into psychological first aid. So when we think about what's going on now, all of us have that sense of safety, particularly now, right? And when you think about also what may happen at college campuses in terms of racial issues, there's, there's that pervasive sense of, am I safe here? Not only physically, but psychologically, you know, are, are, am I in an environment that's breaking me down, making me question my worth, makes me question like, am I, you know, a, an anomaly, you know, based upon, you know, how I'm perceived to be. So that safety is very important. And so for students who have not yet gone to college, and particularly now with so much going on in the world, COVID, racial traumas, like Dr. McGee talked about, there's so much going in the world. We have to, number one, check in to ensure that we have a sense of safety. Structure is very important in terms of when we think about trauma and crisis. We all need structure, right? Particularly when there's some type of crisis or trauma going on, structure helps to stabilize us. It gives us a sense of some type of safety in our lives, right? Yeah, we have flexibility with structure, but we need to have some structure. And the last S is support. So support, you know, is if you need mental health support, or if your child needs mental health support, please get that support, right? We know in many communities, you know, particularly many communities of color, there's a significant stigma about mental health. I heard, you know, conversations about addressing that stigma. This is an ongoing conversation, right? So, you know, a lot of expectations or thoughts that if you get mental health treatment, that means you're crazy or something's wrong with you or you're not, you know, all these things, right? Absolutely no, particularly during this time that getting mental health support if you need it, that's a sign of courage, not a sign of weakness, right? 